our centering song and prayer as I'm going to light the center candle representing the unity of all. Just take a moment to drop into that place, that space of knowingness that there is only one power, one source, one mind, one infinite knowingness, life eternal. I know this power and this presence as order know it as grace and beauty and love, power, and all of these things. And as I know this to be the truth of the one source of all, I know it is the truth of this community. And so right here and right now, I know that this service today is absolutely in divine order for there's nothing but the divine and so I give heartfelt thanks for all of our volunteers the hearts and hands that come together I give thanks for our technology that is working beautifully I give thanks for all all who participate in love knowing that this service is good and very good it is excellent i let that be with a grateful heart by saying and so it is We light this first candle in honor of all of those who have died due to COVID, for their families who are experiencing loss, for the frontline workers who provide care, and to those currently diagnosed with COVID. We honor and light this candle to acknowledge the loss of job or financial security of home. When our faith is tested and our joy and these holidays may seem diminished. You are invited now to speak aloud or hold in your heart any names of those affected by COVID. Noah 
We light the next candle in memory of those who have their, made their transition and whom we have personally lost this year or previous years, whose loss we still feel with grief in our hearts. All those who won't be with us this holiday, we offer our tears as a testament of our deep and abiding love. You are invited to say their names and hold them in your heart.
We light this next candle to redeem our loss, pain, sadness, and anger as our human hearts grieve losses due to divorce, separation, betrayal, mental illness, or addiction. We offer our pain as a testament to our love. And we invite you now to say names out loud or hold in your heart. mistakes I've made and there's more than one I can't help but wonder if I can let it be 
I keep looking back on this wounded heart Tears my mind in two and my soul apart But it's over now, time for me to move on Let it go Let it all go It's time to forgive now The one who matters the most Let it go We light this next candle for all of those affected by violence or hate crimes in marginalized and oppressed communities. 
Our call is to heal the collective consciousness of separation. our next candle. We light this candle for our country and our newly elected leadership, for our state and our governor, Andy Bashir and other leaders, our city and local officials, and our spiritual home and community, Ahava Center for Spiritual Living. Like a harmonium 
still and know me now. God is in all I have found. God, let me know your name. Hold me in the same breath as you were. We light this candle in gratitude for the family and the friends we do have here and today. Those family and friends that are still with us and those of our chosen community who are the very incarnation of the spirit of love for all of us right now. We acknowledge, we acknowledge in gratitude all faith-based communities that are united in love for all of humankind. Take a moment of gratitude to say out loud the names of the individuals that you are so grateful for right now. I invite you to hold them in your heart. One power invisible, and you see it everywhere and every day. One power indescribable, and you speak of it with every word you say. Mysterious until you know the truth as simple as the love inside of you call it god call it spirit call it jesus call it lord call it buddha baha'u'llah angels wings or heaven's door but whatever name it's so one power, can't you see? It's the power of the love in you and me. One power, one power, one power. We speak so many languages have different clothing different colors different names but different is only dangerous when we forget that in the heart we're all the same and 
We light this last candle in honor of the faith and the gift of hope and love that this holiday season has to offer us, affirming that we are bringers of light in the midst of darkness. And in gratitude, we stand with all those who work tirelessly for peace, justice, and a healthy future. of the river of love, where the current runs deep, baptized in the one, where the no separation and the light is all we see, honoring all our differences and love will set us free, Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on, Mother, Father, God. There's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, 
there's a healing going on. I said, oh, oh you rock my soul. I said, oh, oh you rock my soul. I've seen the blessings of the past. It's time to requalify. Let's not forget, but learn to forgive. God knows we gotta try. My responsibility to heal the wounds in me. Compassion, faith, and love, and love, and truth will set us free. Oh, Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing going on. I said, oh, oh, you rock my soul. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, oh, oh you, you rock, rock my soul. Oh, Mother, Father, God, there's a healing Ooh. going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing Ooh. going on. Mother, Father, God, there's a healing Ooh. going on. I said, oh, oh, you rock my soul. I said, oh, oh, you rock my soul. I said, oh, oh you rock my soul. I said, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Let's give some love to this band. Woo! 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 We have our wonderful music director, Joe Chiquina on bass. Give him some love putting this all together. We have Lauren Dechtenberg on keys. John Dittert on drums. Our featured vocalist today, Margot Buchanan. Justin Norris, Yay! Reverend Sonny Cantrell Smith. Yay! Yes, yes. So grateful, so grateful. So before we move into our second part of our service with our letter writing, there's a few things we want to remind you on how you can stay connected and some other wonderful opportunities coming up. This is also a good time to stand and stretch. So I invite you now to stand and stretch. <laughs> it's the ninth inning stretch. That's what we call it, right? And keep your body moving a little bit because we have a whole second part of service that you are going to love. So just a reminder, practitioners are available to pray with you. You can go to our website and there's a little tab there to connect with our practitioners and submit a prayer request form online. We also have our morning spiritual practice Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. on Facebook and Zoom. It's a great way to kick off your morning. We have meditation and metaphysical discussion every Wednesday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's also on Zoom, so you can tune in around the world. And tomorrow, Monday, is our Prosperity Power Hour at noon Eastern time, also on Zoom. All of these events you can find on our Facebook page, on our website, and on our email that comes out. A couple of things to look forward to Sunday, January 3rd, we will still be bringing to you the ritual of our burning bowl service. What you will need to do though, is we will not be able to send you that flash paper that magically dissolves in the moment, but you can have some paper at home. And as we move through that ritual together, write down what you're ready to release at the end of the year and just rip it up or burn it at home safely, however you want to get rid of that for our burning ball service via Zoom at home. And we have a fabulous program kicking off for all of 2021. This is new this year. It is our Intentional Living year-long mastermind program. It's starting Sunday, January 10th, and it's going to include a monthly workshop with myself as well as small groups and accountability partners and those small groups will be facilitated by one of our licensed spiritual practitioners and those also meet once a month there's a journal that goes along with it where every day you can write your intentions your goals your self-care practices and really get to work on 
creating those intentions and doing the work to manifest what you desire in 2021. We're going to be doing it as a community. It's a fabulous program. So you'll be finding out more about that. We put it on our social media last night. Look for an email coming out on how to sign up for that program as well. All right. So we also now get to do our conscious giving or offering. We're going to pass the virtual basket now. So there's several ways that you can give. You can text the word give to 859 209-6996. You can also go to our website and there's a giving tab to give on there. You can mail in your gifts to 168 Burt Road, Lexington, Kentucky, 40503. Or you can press that donate button on Facebook. So all that's going up in the chat as well to connect you with how to give virtually to be in that flow of giving and receiving. So as we prepare our gifts and offerings now, I invite you to place your hands over your heart to repeat after me. Divine love as me. Divine love as me. Blesses and multiplies all that I have. Blesses and multiplies all that I have. All that I give. All that I give. And all that I receive. And all that I receive. I joyously contribute to the vision of Ahava. I joyously contribute to the vision of Ahava. Knowing that it returns to me multiplied abundantly. Knowing that it returns to me multiplied abundantly. And so it is. So it is. So as we move into our second part of service, we have a very special video to show you now <laughs> from a youth sharing their intentions for 2021. So this is part two, and this is where we begin the process of our letter writing. And for those of you who have not done this before, I invite you to get an envelope and a card. And um, we celebrate ourselves as well by uh, letting go of the old and embracing the new. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready to let go of the old. What do you think? And I'm ready to honor the light and uh, in turn, honor the grace of God and the grace within each and every one of us. So please get your card. And if you don't have a card, any piece of paper will do. And what you can do, you can always get an envelope later and address the envelope to yourself. And we're going to do it a little bit differently this year because you're not here and we can't retrieve your uh, letter writing, your cards and send them back to you. I'm asking that you, when you complete your letter writing, that you put it into an envelope, address it to yourself. And then you can either drop it off in our mail slot at Ahava or put it in another envelope and send it to us and we will send it back to you next December. Some of you are getting your uh, letters and your cards back, uh, have received them in the last couple of weeks. It's been very interesting with all that's gone on to uh, open those up. So here's how we do it. We're going to do a very small meditation. And I'm going to, I'm asking you to write this letter as though it is December, 2021. You're writing it to the universe and you're thanking the universe for what has transpired for you during 2021. You're also setting your intention for the year. And we'll talk about that later, but setting your intention for what you would like to happen during 2021. And so you're coming from a place of gratitude. So you can write it, you can say, dear God, dear spirit, dear universe, dear love, however you want to address it. So I'm going to invite you right now to really just settle in, take a nice deep breath, and hopefully you'll be able to hear me during this. Take a nice deep breath, close your eyes if you're comfortable, and so just really begin to open up. Really begin to open up with that love that is all that already exists as you as the one mind. And really let go of what you think next year is. What is my intention for 2021? What is, is God's grandest divine idea of my intention 
for 2021. What is my intention? What is God's grandest divine idea of my intention for 2021? And allow this to come to you gently and when you receive your intention, begin to write your letter. Thank you, Lauren. So it is the warmth and joy of community that brings us together today. As we enter into, as we enter into our personal candle lighting, let us unite in our own consciousness to reveal the birth of light and love within our own hearts. Let us know that we are always at peace in the heart of God. This is a time to be reminded that within each of us resides the Christ, the Buddha, the Atman, Muhammad, Moses, Krishna, the divine feminine, the presence. 
We were born to be conscious, to know that our true nature is that of the divine within us, as us, our perfect and whole self, which today we recognize in all of life. Ernest Holmes, the founder of Science of Mind wrote, ye are the light of the world. Humanity is the candle of the one source. How important then that this light be kept trimmed and burning with the oil of pure spirit through the wick of peace and joy. In this way, we do glorify that indwelling God who is the heavenly father and the cosmic mother of all. And so we will conclude our service this morning with a symbolic step of lighting a candle to the world, of lighting a candle within us and sending that light out unto the universe. If you have a candle, please retrieve your candle at this time. You may want to switch to gallery view if you're on Zoom as we light our candle so that you can see all of the squares of consciousness lighting their own candles. Dr. Ernest Holmes said the divine spark must be fanned into a blaze of the living fire of our own divinity. And so we fan the blaze and move into a place of celebrating the light within. zoom to your left and to your right these beautiful squares of consciousness i invite you to find someone on zoom and sing to them that you are a light to we are a light so i invite you to just spread the love all around to the many many squares of consciousness as we all sing together we are the light we are the light we are the light we are the light in this world
And so as we have fan, fanned the blaze of love and sent it out into the world and to each other, we conclude today by sending this message to the world. May the peace of spirit be upon all, through all, and as the grace of the one mind, the one heart, the one soul that connects us all. And today and forever, may we continue to fan that blaze of love and send the light into the world. Inside this forest deep and dark And walk along the path that's winding through Gaze into each shadow that lies silent Waiting and watching, watching you Though the forest seems so dark still unpenetrated by the smallest light soon the path continues up the hill and opens under starry starry night and all is well and all is right to ourselves to find the strength and 
Thank you all.